Yo, it's me, Tanuki Michiru. Get it? Cause I'm, I look like Tanuki Michiru, but like, like I'm a guy. It's it's, it's really funny. Tan, tan, Tanaki Michiru body pillow is just four ninety nine at Bunnings Warehouse. <laughs> Let's get the intro, please. No, <laughs> So as you guys know, I used to live in Newman, and I've moved to Jolton only about a year ago. Now instead of my car being covered in red dust, it's covered in enough salt to make a slugma male, that is better than both a shrigma and a sigma combined, to shrivel up and perish. Despite their grind set, I've only ever lived in those two places. Which means that most of my travelling experience has been through the great almighty Northern Highway. Alrighty prefix not included. The Great Northern Highway is the longest highway in the nation, but we'll only be talking about the 600 or so kilometre stretch between Mount Magnet and Geraldton. And we'll not be talking about the Geraldton Mount Magnet Road that I used to reach the Great Northern Highway, as I once encountered a secret military satellite station and am now sworn to secrecy. I didn't document much of my last trip on these roads in November. I was, uh, too busy sniffing a, a lot of petrol by accident because turns out my fuel can completely lacked any kind of um, not making a petrol smelling existence. That's how you use words. Oh yeah, time to get a real fuel experience. But what I did manage to do on my last trip was take pictures of every second car wreck I saw down the Great Northern Highway. I got a total of eight pictures. Most of those car wrecks I believe have been there for many years. Many were also burned and vandalized. I don't know the origin of these car wrecks, but I'm sure they don't ominously tout the possibility of danger or anything. <laughs> why, why would car wrecks make me nervous <laughs> driving down on the highway? <laughs> if I was playing Project Zomboid and I saw eight car wrecks, I think, damn, I need more little propane and propane accessories. But also, Look, Gordon. Uh, pipes. We can use. Help me, Gordon! I am not the only person to encounter these cars. As much like most of the boulders on the Great Northern Highway, they are littered with graffiti for some reason. It's like the back of the walls on Kelmscott. Been to their Red Rooster, by the way. First one ever established. Actually, one of the best Red Rooster. No, the best Red Rooster I have ever been to in that the food was edible and did not taste like fish and spider being chicken. There is also a Spongebob letterbox placed in the middle of the highway for some reason. I don't know what Spongebob will be doing in the middle of the Australian outback. Perhaps he rode a mossy rocker a bit too far north and decided to plunder the Pilbara Hancock style. But it's always a notable object of observation whenever I'm driving. When I was in primary school, a substitute teacher one day told us about a little game that their partner played during road trips where they would count the amount of dead kangaroos they saw on the way to their destination. Usually the numbers went into the dozens. Double digits I'm talking. You may think the Pilbara is a deserted place with sparsely populated wildlife, but one look at the roadkill and you think it's blooming with life. Well, former life anyway. Don't see many of me around still breathing in the Pilbrick. See, I'm an animal because they got that Hello Kitty. They were 50 cents a good Sammy's. So they still got a tag on it. I got this one from the Salvos. There you are, mate. Kangaroos are probably the most notorious roadkill, doing serious damage to the front of cars. Though, unlike bulls, they don't actually kill you. 
By the way, bull bars are such false advertisers. They do not bar bulls from hitting you. They still hit you when you drive at them at 150 kilometers an hour. I don't know why they call them bull bars if they don't prevent you from running them over when you do that. It, it, it's completely false advertising, and I have the right mind to sue them if I had the money to initiate a lawsuit. Small animals also fall privy to uh, roadkill deaths, such as rabbits and foxes. Driving from Geraldton to Newman is a fantastic experience that does sometimes result in you accidentally sniffing nine hours worth of petrol because your jerry can doesn't seal properly. <laughs> I'd seriously recommend people check out the north by car if they can. Not only are you rewarded with small mining towns, both small and deserted, something like five of the biggest iron ore mines on earth? and a one-to-one -one scale model of the new Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update that is Karajini Gorge, you'd also experience a Borderlands-esque environmental experience along the way. I mean, the drive is so Mad Max that if you replace the four-trailer trucks on the Great Northern Highway with a guy and an electric guitar, you'd basically get a AAA movie experience every time you drive up north for free. That's all I have for this video, unfortunately. I was totally not paid by the Western Australian government to advertise the northern parts of Australia. You can tell because last time I was asked to promote the north, I said it was great because it lacked basic food facilities. Um, <laughs> you can check that out somewhere on Triple M. <laughs> check out the north! But yes, that's all I have time for this video. I'm, I'm sorting out a new video editing software, trying to learn that, learn some other new skills and stuff, so it's all a bit precarious at the moment. But I hope you enjoyed! Like and subscribe, join me on Discord if you're under the age of 35, and farewell!